Hey, Goblin, you've been really practicing those war drums. I bring the generic Goblin noise! Hey, gang. Using the promo code MTGMUDSTA, all caps, will get you 10% off any order over $10 at Flipside Gaming. It'll also get you 10% off any orders of singles at Multizone. And it'll get you 10% off most products at Original Magic Art, with the exceptions of some paintings. If these fine sites don't have what you're looking for, you can also consider using my affiliate link when ordering from TCG Player. And if you'd like to join the Generic Goblin Gang to support this channel, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. Hey gang, we've got another EDH gameplay video coming at you, and today's game finds me playing the tree-loving Titania, and I keep a Cultivate, a Dryad Arbor, a Buried Ruin, a Crucible of Worlds, a Corsair of Crufix, a Snow-Covered Forest, and Natural Affinity. Miguel has brought out his angry jelly bean, Omnath, and he's keeping Xenagos the Reveler, Elvish Mystic, Beast Within, Acidic Slime, Evolving Wilds, Parallel Lives, and Screw Tribe Elder. Dom is playing the god Eternal Ronis, and he keeps two forests, wood elves, prowling Sepapapapapapard, Rishkar's expertise, thorn elemental, and archetype of endurance. Maxim is back playing Bruce Carl and Ikra, keeping a tyrant's familiar, a mountain, a sun petal grove, a prismatic vista, a Raminak excavator, a sensei's divining top, an austere command. Maxim wins the die roll and starts us off. Max plays a prismatic vista, sacrificing it and taking one to find a basic. He shortcuts, casting his sensei's divining top before passing. Dom plays a forest and passes. I play a dryad arbor, passing. Mikael plays an involving wilds and passes. Max plays a mountain and passes. Dom plays a forest and casts Vivian's arc bow. I play a snow-covered forest. Miguel plays his own forest and casts a Kura Tribe Elder. Max drops a Sun Petal Grove and plays Wood Elves. Dom plays a forest and does the same. I play a snow-covered forest and cast Corsair of Crufix. At the end of my turn, Miguel says goodbye to Steve to go and find a mountain. Miguel plays a mountain and casts Xenagos. He then makes a satyr token and passes. Max plays a swamp and casts Doom Whisperer. Dom does nothing, passing. I draw and I play a Windswept Heath. I gain one life and lose it immediately as I sacrifice it to find a basic. I then reveal Nisa Vital Force off the top and play Gaia's Touch before passing. Miguel plays his Cinder Glade and pays 4 for Parallel Lives. He then casts an Elvish Mystic and makes another token with Xenagos, which is doubled from the Parallel Lives, and he passes. Max plays a Mistmatched Mountain and then pays 4 for Bruce Tarl. His commander comes in, giving the Doom Whisperer Double Strike and Lifelink. He swings the Demon at Dom, and before damage, Dom activates the Arc Bow, putting 4 into the X. He discards a card, but sadly hits nothing and has to bottom all the cards. He then takes 2 hits of 6, and Max gains 12. Dom still can't find a land, or play anything for that matter, and has to pass. I cast Cultivate, finding a land for the field and for hand, and gaining 1 as it enters. I then gain another life as I play my snow-covered forest from my hand, and I then pass turn. Miguel taps the Mystic, and uses Xenagos' mana generating ability and some lands to cast Omnath. He has no follow-up land though for the landfall ability, and has to pass. At the end of turn, Max uses his Sensei's Divining Top. Max casts Ikra in his main phase, and heads to combat. Bruce Tarl is swinging at me, while the Doom Whisperer goes at Miguel. He puts the Bruce Tarl on attack trigger on the Whisperer, and Miguel responds to that targeting by using Beast Within on the Whisperer. Before letting his demon get destroyed, Max pays 2 life to surveil 2, with the Doom Whisperer's activated ability. He decides to mill one and keep one on top, and then the demon gets destroyed and Max gains a beast. I also then take a hit for 4, 
and Max gains 4 life from Eker's triggered ability. Dom activates his arc bow again and discards an Eldrazi creature, looking at his top 4 cards and hitting a fierce empath. He goes and finds Regal Behemoth, putting it to hand. Dom then draws for turn and plays his own Cultivate. He finds a basic for the field and plays the one he puts to hand. For my turn, I play a Ramunak Excavator, replaying my Heath from the yard and cracking it, gaining one life and losing it. Miguel plays a Gruel Guildgate, gaining two elemental tokens from Omnath's Landfall Trigger. He then activates Xenagos to make a good chunk of mana, and he casts Ulvenwald Hydra. He goes to find a land, and puts to the field a Jun Panorama, gaining two more elemental tokens. He still has one floating, and he taps more lands to cast Acidic Slime, who comes in and blows up Max's Sun Petal Grove. Miguel then uses Broken Bond to blow up my Courser of Crufix, and he passes turn. Max plays a Bountiful Promenade as his land for turn, and taps out for Austere Command. He blows up all the enchantments, and all the creatures with converted mana cost of 3 or less. Miguel then uses his Omnath Elemental Death Triggers to take out Max's Ikra and Bruce Tarl. Dom casts a Hydra Omnivore in his main phase, and passes. I play Snow Covered Forest, and cast Nissa Vital Force. I upticker to animate a forest, and pass. Miguel casts an Eternal Witness in his main phase, and returns his parallel lives to hands, and recasts it. He then cracks the panorama to find a forest, and gains two more tokens from Omnath. Miguel then tries to make friends the only way he knows, by sending Omnath at Max, and the Hydra at me. I block the Hydra with my animated land, while Max takes the hit. Max plays a Cinder Glade for turn, and brings back out Ikra before passing. Dom plays Rishkar's Expertise, and we're all envious of the draw. He draws 8 cards, and plays Into the Wilds as his free spell from the Expertise. I draw for turn, and use Nissa's Ultimate. This gives me an emblem that lets my lands coming into play draw me a card, and I play Buried Ruins drawing a card. I then cast Scape Shift, floating some mana with my remaining lands, and I sacrifice all of my lands to go and find that many. I grab a Command Beacon, Dark Depths, Cespian Stage, two Snow-Covered Forests, Blighted Woodland, and Crystal Veins. I then draw as seven lands come into play. With nothing else, I pass, discarding down to seven. Miguel draws, and plays a land making more tokens. He uses Xenagos' ultimate, and exiles his top seven. He plays two lands, Anger, and Bane of Progress from those cards. He actually then decides against the Bane, but either way this triggers his Omnath twice, making him four elemental tokens. He then heads to combat, swinging his whole darn team at me for 25 life. No wait, make that 27. Max plays a polluted delta, and he says he'll cast something that won't affect me. He first cracks his delta for a swamp, taking one, and then drops a tyrant's familiar. The tyrant then heads at Miguel for seven, and deals seven to Omnath. Max also gains seven life from Eker's trigger when the tyrant connects. Dom plays a forest, and casts Archetype of Endurance. I draw and play a Glacial Chasm, trying as it enters and sacrificing a land. I then play a Crucible of Worlds after sacrificing a Crystal Veins, and pass. Miguel draws and recasts his commander in his main phase. Heading to combat, Miguel gets some revenge by swinging his elemental tokens at Max. Max in turn blocks one of the eight elemental tokens headed his way with Ikra, but still takes 35 points of damage. And Miguel then passes. Max draws and swings his Tyrant at Dom this time for 7. He can't blast any of Dom's creatures sadly, but damage is damage, and Max still gains 7 from Ikra. Max then casts Play of the Game in his post-combat main phase, and activates his top to draw a card, and put it on top and save it, and then exiles all non-land permanents. Dom casts a Regal Behemoth in his main phase, becoming the Monarch. He's then able to cast a Green Warden of Marassa, and returns the Rishkar's expertise to his hand. He then passes, and Dom draws from the Monarch at the end of turn, while I use the Thespian Stage to become a copy of Dark Depths. 
I sacrifice the original to the legendary rule, and then the Thespian stage copy of Dark Depths sacrifices itself to its own ability for having no counters on it. As a result, this gets me a Merit Lage token. I let the Chasm go on my upkeep, not paying the 2 life to the cumulative upkeep, and I then draw for turn. I play a Snow Covered Forest for my turn, and draw a card and swing Merit Lage at Miguel to send a message. I then play a Zurin Orb before passing. Miguel plays a Soul Ring and taps out completely for Omnath again, and passes. Max casts a Runescar Demon in his main phase, and then a Sensei's Divining Top, passing while he tutors. Dom casts God Eternal Ronus in his main phase, doubling the power of all of his creatures and giving them vigilance until end of turn. He then casts a Rishkar's Expertise, drawing 10, and gets to play a card that costs 5 or less without paying. We see a Dictate of Karametra for that card, and Dom then puts way more than 10 into the X of his finale, Devastation, finding a creature card that costs 10 or less, but also pumping his board by plus 10 plus 10 and giving them haste. He grabs Kozilek, which seems pretty good. He swings the Eldrazi at me, and the rest at Miguel and Max. Not wanting to lose the game, I respond to the Annihilator trigger by casting Constant Mist to fog the combat step, and then basically lose my board except for lands and the Merit Lage token. With this combat step over, Dom then passes and draws at the end of turn. I play an Inventor's Fair, draw in from the Emblem, and then tap out, which isn't hard, getting two mana from each of my lands from Dom's Dictate. I use it to cast Reclamation Sage, and blow up said Dictate. Moving to combat, I then hit Dom, becoming the Monarch, and pass to my end step, drawing from the Monarch trigger. Miguel casts his Gruul Signet, and then a Grux Pack Leader. He swings Omnath at me, who gets blocked with the Reclamation Sage, and he then passes. Max swaps his mana around, and drops Gisela. Yikes. He swings the Rootscar Demon at Dom to take him out, and then passes. I draw and play an Evolving Wilds, drawing and then sacrificing it, drawing after I shuffle. I'm looking for an answer at this point, but I'm really not sure what can save me, and I discard down to 7 after drawing from the Monarch. Miguel plays a Rampaging Bailoth in his main phase, and draws from the Pack Leader trigger. He's then able to cast Explosive Vegetation, getting 2 tokens both from Omnath and the Bailoth, and then drawing 4 cards from the Pack Leader triggers, which is an interesting draw spell for green. He then plays a forest, and draws as he gets more tokens. Miguel then plays Sky Shroud Claims, doing what he just did, and finds two more lands, gaining four more tokens, and draws four more cards. He's got a grip full of cards at this point, which is pretty impressive considering he had no hand about 20 seconds ago. At this point he's digging for a Blasphemous Act to try and close out the game, but he sadly doesn't find it, as he draws his four. He does cast a Nature's Lore to try and find Stomping Ground, but we quickly learn Miguel has yet to put it in his deck. He then draws two cards as he gets two more tokens from the land coming in, and Miguel then plays an Arbor Elf and swings what he can at max. Max blocks Omnath with Gisela and takes two from the pack leader. Miguel then passes, and Max uses his top. Max untaps for turn and pays seven for Elish Norn. He then swings Giselle at Miguel, dealing enough to take him out in the air, and Max then passes. I play Wooded Foothills, drawing and cracking it, losing one to find a snow-covered forest and drawing again. We then realize with Elish Norn out I couldn't have done any of this, and I'm pretty much donezo at this point, and I concede the game to Max. Game review time. I'm not really too sure where to start. I probably should have been swinging at Max as opposed to Dom or Miguel, but I was at such a low life total that I was pretty much going to be dead either way, and I felt like I had to scare them into submission. Was that the right move? The wrong move? I don't know, but that's the move I picked. Miguel's Omnath deck just shows how powerful Locus of Rage is, and you get so many bodies and so much value with just very little setup as soon as you play a land. I was actually able to film some of the new Tamur version of Omnath, so it'll be interesting to see how they pair up in the future. Max's Ikra and Bruce Tarl deck seems very much like a non-blue good stuff deck. 
It's very life-centric, with a ton of board wipes, and he basically controls the board until he starts to be able to finish off the game by dropping giant finishers like we saw with Gisela or Elish Norn. I've played against it in the past, and he has a lot of answers, and typically the games go very long because he doesn't let anyone build up a board state except for himself. Dom's deck seemed to struggle a little bit early on, but he did have a commanding presence that turn he was able to get the Dictate of Krufix out. I think he would have been able to win had I not been able to use the Constant Mist to stop his combat step. And although it set me back severely, I still think it was the right move. Please be sure to tune in every Monday and Thursday at 11am Eastern Standard Time for a guaranteed new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at MTGMudsta. You can find me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash MTGMudsta. And lastly, you can check me out when I stream at Twitch.tv slash MTGMudsta. This video is brought to you in support by my patrons. If you're looking for a way to help out the channel, please be sure to visit the link below. Thank you all for watching this video, and don't forget, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.